here we are on day three of our uh, weekly reflections on the risen. And today we come to the part where we talk about doubting Thomas. And in scripture, in John 20, 24 to 29, we examine Thomas's journey from doubt to belief and reflect on the mercy and the patience that Jesus shows in meeting Thomas's doubts. And let's consider areas of our own life where we struggle with the doubt and how Jesus meets us there. You see, John 20, 24 to 29 recounts the famous encounter between Jesus and Thomas, often referred to as Doubting Thomas. And this passage offers profound insight into the nature of doubt, the character of Jesus and the transformative power of faith. You see, Thomas's initial doubt serves as a, re a relatable reminder of the human struggle to believe without seeing. His scepticism is understandable given the extraordinary nature of the resurrection. However, Thomas's journey from doubt to belief illustrates the possibilities of transformation through encountering the risen Christ. So when Thomas sees and touches the wounds of Jesus, his doubt is replaced by a profound confession of faith. My Lord and my God. Despite Thomas's doubt, Jesus responds with a compassion and patience. Instead of rebuking Thomas for his lack of faith, Jesus meets him where he is, at, where he is and offers him the evidence he needs to believe. And this demonstrates Jesus' understanding of our doubts and his willingness to patiently walk with us through them. You see, Jesus does not condemn Thomas for his doubt, but gently leads him to a deeper faith. So like Thomas, we all experience moments of doubt in our faith journey. Whether it's doubt about God's existence, his goodness, his promises, we may wrestle with uncertainties at times. However, Jesus' interaction with Thomas reminds us that our doubts do not disqualify us from his love and grace. Instead, Jesus meets us in our doubt, patiently revealing himself to us and inviting us into a deeper relationship with him. And Jesus' words to Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now extend beyond Thomas's immediate context to all who come after him, including us. You see, Jesus invites us to embrace a faith that transcends physical evidence and rests on the assurance of his love and power. So while doubts may linger, Jesus calls us to trust in him and his promises knowing that he is faithful to fulfil them. So in conclusion, John 20, 24 to 29 does challenge us to confront our doubts honestly while placing our trust in the resurrected Christ. It reassures us of Jesus' mercy and patience in meeting us in our doubt and encourages us to embrace a faith that leads to transformation and deepening relationship with him. So may we, like Thomas, encounter, encounter Jesus in our doubts today and declare with confidence, my Lord, my God. So I, I look forward to sharing tomorrow as we continue this walk and this reflection on He is Risen.